The movie begins with a shot of smoke spiraling into the air. A man watches on, enraptured by the sight. That feeling of searching, of longing, is there right from the beginning. Body Heat is a prime example of a film with a strong theme, one that's in our face right from the beginning. This is a movie about heat, about lust, about desire, about the way this burning feeling gets under our skin, infecting the very nature of our lives. And in case there was any doubt, the movie just goes and explains it to us. It gets hot, people try to kill each other. That's right. I know some people who'll be dead if we don't get a break soon. Ooh, we got more of everything bad since the wave started. It's that crisis atmosphere, you know? People dress different, feel different, they sweat more, wake up cranky and never recover. Look at them. So what's the allure of body heat? What keeps me coming back to this movie time and time again? I mean, there are movies with fire with lust, with desire. A scene where someone watches a fire in the distance, knowing that their actions have somehow led to this moment. That feeling of being drawn in by the heat, by the passion of the world, is fundamental to body heat. It could be a sight, it could be a sound. Such it is with the chimes, they seem to trigger something in Ned's memory something he can't run from. That thing that we also feel. Don't we also want to lose control, finding the deep and passionate love that gnaws at our hearts and minds? Finally getting what we desire. The handheld shot here as he walks through the hallway mirrors that feeling, that ferocity, that intensity, that passion like water gushing. That, I believe, is the lore of sweaty cinema, unlocking that passion we feel inside, but just can't express in daily life. The clash between the internal and the external is very much at play in the film Body Heat. Ned Racine, our main character, has internal needs. He needs tending. He needs someone to love him, to take care of him. As we observe these traits in Ned, we can feel the heat rising in the world around him, embodied by the figure of Maddie, the femme fatale. This is when we begin to see Ned lose himself in Maddie's heat, slipping quietly into a twisted logic that seems to rise along with the temperature. Be real sweet for us. No, Ned, please don't. Don't talk about it. Talk is dangerous. Sometimes it makes things happen. It makes them real. Well, that's scary. Because he's not going to die. What is this passion I feel? This thing I can't quite put into words. What is it? I believe I love body heat because through sound, dialogue, imagery, it gives life to this feeling. Is one of the reasons we love cinema? It's because it communicates our most inner desires. Our desires to be seen be heard, to feel love, and to love passionately. For me, that's what Body Heat communicates, is passion, romance, and for some reason, in these modern times, those seem to be lacking. So I come home, late at night. I turn on body heat. In William Hurt's eyes, I see myself. I see the feeling that I want. The feeling that I would give anything to discover. And in that way, 
I communicate with the movie. I commune with it. I understand what it means to sacrifice everything for love, for desire. So maybe in this same situation, I would make the same mistakes. I would give everything for just one more chance at diving into the heart of true romance.